Well, I figured I'd give everyone a little update here. You join me as it is Thursday, June 8th. And we are in Tacoma, Oklahoma. And we are hooking up two combines right now to the heads. I'm in my number 15 tractor with a Brent 1198 grain cart. And we are going to open up the first field of wheat harvest for 2023. Um, we're just kind of doing a trial run here. It's supposed to be a day off and we actually, me and the two combine operators got called in just to try to test the water, see what, see if it was gonna run tomorrow or not. Um, we got down here Monday. On Tuesday evening, we got about three quarters of an inch of rain in about 45 minutes. It was a pretty good rainstorm. So we were kind of laying, laying low, um, just kind of figuring out what to do and we're gonna see what it, what it ends up doing. So I'm really excited. I am so excited I can't even explain but I will definitely keep you posted. Well, little update here. We got enough opened up here to park all the equipment in. And got the two combines and my tractor in here and the pickups. So, did a little test plot here, or a test pass. Get a good consistent sample. Combines are showing it's 11.8 on moisture but we're gonna run over to the co-op, get that tested, just since these don't have any acres on it, in them to calibrate the moisture sensor. And if it's good to go, we're gonna run. So, really excited. <laughs> Pretty good looking crop too. Hey, it's so a little update here. It's been about, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe. So, we uh, just got word from the grain elevator. We tested at 11.8% moisture, which is perfect for wheat. Um, that is well within the uh, limits for the equity to be able to accept it without penalty. And uh, we have the green light to go. So, um, first combines over there off in the distance somewhere I can't even see them really uh, training the first operator second operator is waiting to be trained right here and not that they don't know how to do it it's just make sure everyone's on the same page so that we all work as a very well oiled machine and we have the first truck coming down the road here sometime soon to pull in the field and this cart, I will do a lot more videos on this, but this cart has a digital scale on it. So I know exactly how much weight I have on the cart at any time within 20 pounds. So that's really cool. And uh, a lot of real fun stuff's gonna happen, so this is only the beginning. Well, it is now quarter till nine in the evening now and we are done for the day. The combines are emptying into the grain cart so we can cut tarp it. We have done, I don't know how many acres. We've done two of those truckloads right there. So a decent amount. Um, if I had to guess, probably 30 acres. It is a absolutely beautiful evening tonight. I mean, it is gorgeous out. The video really doesn't do justice. And uh, everything went really well. I am really enjoying this. I have. Judge one, I'm facing left. Right, Mike? And. Uh, yeah, just facing west in a straight line right where you're at. And the other one can park right where I'm at. A lot of radio chatter, which is to be expected. And the scale's working as it should. And the last combine's unloading on me right now. We're gonna tarp the grain cart, shut equipment down, and go home for the night. Then hopefully, we got a lot more equipment running tomorrow, hopefully, is the game plan. I down all the way and lift it back up. Right there. That way when we work on sickle sections, we can look at them instead of crouching down. So it should be fun. Well, good morning. Well, I guess afternoon. 
Well, good afternoon. It is uh, about 20 minutes till noon here in Alva, Oklahoma, and we are just getting started for the day. I am currently waiting on a truck. Um, we are still in the same field as last night here to find out this field is 640 acres, so we'll be here for a little bit. You can see the third combine right there. The other two are behind the hill somewhere and we got a fourth combine sitting there with no operator right now um the weed is actually yielding pretty good which is great news um i do not know how much it is yielding but it's yielding pretty good uh we are going to try to start getting trucks we are going to try to start getting trucks rolling and start hammering out acres so this is going to be the first full day of working I am really excited. Well, little update here. It's probably 12.30 now. And I'm waiting on another truck. Um, got the combines unloaded. And loaded one truck. Got him out of here immediately. You can see one of the combines sitting way off in the distance right there. There's three of them fully loaded right now. But... Waiting on a truck shouldn't take too terribly long, but I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if it'll show very well. So that right there is the onboard scale system that this cart has. So I am standing where the combine would be, and the combine operator can look over and see how much I have on board at any time while I'm beside him, which is really handy. And I also have scales in the tractor scale readouts so that way I know exactly how to load a truck legally although it may not be as fun to load it but it keeps DOT happy so we have scales on all of our carts I am sitting at 68,120 pounds right at the moment on this cart and uh, but other than that it's going real and real well it's really nice out the wheat's looking good, and we're picking away at it, so. Well, a little update here. It is now 3 o'clock, and we have 160 acres done. And I know that because we got a quarter of the total 640 acres done. Um, and you can kind of see that it looks like we're uh, being horrible and missing spots. Well, that is actually called using Kansas corners. So what that is, is the combine is most efficient when the head is always full of grain or always in the crop. Well, so if that's the case, it's gonna be most efficient if we turn while the entire head is in the crop. So that's what we do. And then when we are done we set break a couple of the combines off of the herd and they just run up the entire corner of the field getting all those little slivers um so that's called using kansas corners but we have one it looks like one more pass here in the center of the field and then they will be done with this this quarter of it and i don't know if you can see but way off in the distance right there he, and there's another combine right there that's starting to uh, open up the next section for us. So, I am just parked here waiting for them. They're going to unload the last little bit that they have onto the cart. So that way I can get from 56,000 up to 63 to 65,000. So that way I can load a truck. But pretty neat process I have been running my butt off trying to keep up with these combines um, barely got enough time to eat my subway but that's just expected so that's what's going on right now
So he's done and brought me right up to 65,000, right where I needed to be. So I'm gonna go unload, unload onto a truck and get him heading to the grain equity. Well, little update here, it's now five o'clock and we added a fourth combine to the mix, which means I'm really hustling now. Um, I'm filling my grain cart about every 15 minutes, which is way, uh, way more than what the trucks can handle at the moment. But we're making, making do with what we have. I have 67,000 pounds on board. So roughly 1,200 bushel on the cart. I'm sitting with my auger up, waiting for the for the semi to pull in so I can immediately start loading him. Um, by the way, that's probably every bit 20, 25 foot tall right there. I hate it's really tall, so I have to be very mindful of power lines. So while this is going on, combines are running. You can see one right there. There's two in the uh, dust cloud behind him. And then there's another one right there. So there's quite a, quite a bit going on right now. Um, and I'm trying to be very respectful of not using my cell phone when we're driving. But you can kind of see the combine there a little better. And and you can see another one down there and way further off in the distance is a third one. So there's a lot going on right now. But just thought I'd give a little update. Well, we are done for the night. We got another 160 acres done, which is pretty good for starting at 11.30. So he's just finishing up getting the last little bit of the corner from how we turn. He just worked his way from the center out getting those corners. And now they're going to all just kind of line up together, load into my cart, and then we'll... I don't know if we're going to throw it on a, another truck or just carpet, but that'll be it. And the dust is just hanging in the air today. But. Pretty good day overall, I think. And you can see two are there and one's way out there in the back. So, I think it was a very good first day of running wheat. Or first full day of running weed I should say. Well thank you for watching and stay tuned next time.